Future AF, Service Year 2040. Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston spoke about the importance of space, uncrewed aircraft and climate change. The Chief of the Air Staff has predicted what the next 20 years could look like for the Royal Air Force. Addressing the Royal United Services Institute in the 2020 Trenchard Memorial Lecture, Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston outlined the significance of space, unmanned aircraft and climate change, among other areas and concepts. The head of the RAF firstly praised the work of the Air Force, and the military overall, in its response to the coronavirus pandemic. Referencing comments made by the Chief of the Defence Staff, the Chief of the Air Staff said even prior the onset of COVID-19, the strategic context was uncertain, complex and dynamic. ACM Wigston added, while that instability did, while that instability brings strategic risk, its uncertain nature also drives innovation and necessitates evolution. He said the integrated review, which is now now unlikely to be announced in February as previously expected, provides the chance for a strategic reset. The RAF chief continued, stating the RAF must seize this moment and be radically forward-looking, accelerating our vision for an air and space force of the future. In doing so, ACM Wigston then addressed his audience as if it were the year 2040, and as if he were the 35th chief of the air staff looking back on the previous 20 years to 2020. 2040, World Stage. ACM Wigston, in the voice of the 35th Chief of the Air Staff in 2040, spoke of how the Carrier Strike Group had played a vital role in NATO and Allied operations around the world, refuging the UK's place in the world since the early 2020s. He added how uncrewed aircraft had supported deployed F 35 fighter jets while an ever-increasing array of space-based systems had been critical to success. The Tempest concept of futuristic fighter aircraft, he said, faced its first tactical test in 2037, fielded with the 10th generation of Alvina swarming drones and 5th generation of Mosquito combat drones, the latter for which a deal has just been announced. 2040, Changed Mindset ACM Wigston, again, speaking as if it were 2040, said the integrated operating concept of 2020 had been brought to life physically, and conceptually, driving a change of mindset across the armed forces. This included a pivotal shift from crewed to uncrewed systems over the two decades from 2020. He added, when you look at the totality of our lightning, tempest, mosquito, alvina, protector and the last of our typhoon squadrons, it's quite remarkable to think that the Royal Air Force Combat Air Force is now more than 80% uncrewed or remotely crewed. 2040, Cyber, Tech and Space The UK's National Cyber Force, by 2040 in its 20th year, has gone from strength to strength, ACM Wigston said. In the RAF Chief's prediction, its job has been to tackle and deter adversaries, while protecting data, our most vital national asset. The proliferation of hypersonic technologies is prominent among threats, while the UK is on the threshold of some groundbreaking developments, particularly in space. In 20 years, space is now a trillion dollar economy and space tourism is fast becoming affordable reality, ACM Wigston said. The UK's AI-driven Aurora software, the first version of which was fielded in 2021, helped to give the world brief notice of a low-Earth orbit satellite collision and the chain reaction collisions that followed, when space was rendered unusable in 2030. The UK space industry is leading the debris cleanup operations that continue to this day. 2040, Climate Change in 2040, environmental considerations are at the heart of RAF operations. This includes small initiatives, like committing to a plastic-free estate in 2030, to major change programs, such as R&D in renewable aviation and rocket fuels.
ACM Wigston predicts RAF stations have achieved net zero emissions, set as a challenge in 2020, the first independent air force in the world to achieve that. Air crews experience almost all training and non-operational currency flying in artificial reality simulators. This, ACM Wigston said, has reduced fuel consumption, aircraft hours and has allowed training to become more private and away from prying eyes. Ending his predictions and returning to 2021, the chief of the air staff concluded his address by saying, whether it is 2040 or again 2021, air and space power will continue to give our government the choice to act worldwide, integrated across all warfighting domains, land, sea, air, space and cyber, protecting the UK and our interests, engaging with allies and partners, deterring potential adversaries to help underpin the UK's recovery to a strong, prosperous and global Britain, and refuging our place in the world. Pilotless RAF fighter jet lanes on its own set to fly by 2023. The mod says its loyal wingman drone will be the UK's first uncrewed aircraft capable of targeting and destroying enemy aircraft and survive against surface-to-air missiles. Production of a next-generation AI fighter jet that will fly into combat without a pilot is set to begin thanks to a £30 million government investment. The Ministry of Defence, MOD, said the three-year contract to design and manufacture a prototype will support more than 100 jobs in Northern Ireland. The aircraft will be designed to fly at high speed alongside fighter jets armed with missiles, surveillance and electronic warfare technology to provide a battle-winning advantage over hostile forces. The mod said the Loyal Wingman will be the UK's first uncrewed platform able to target and shoot down enemy aircraft and survive against surface and survive against surface-to-air missiles. The mod predicts a test flight by 2023 and the first finished aircraft should start rolling off the production line by 2025. The robotic fighter is one of a wave of autonomous aircraft being developed around the world designed to fly information with piloted aircraft to provide support in dogfights. Spirit Aero Systems, in Belfast, has been selected to lead Team Mosquito in the next phase of the project. The team will further develop the rough slight way to affordable novel combat aircraft, Lanka, concept, with a full-scale vehicle flight test program expected by the end of 2023. Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis said, This is fantastic news and underlines the distinct strengths in Northern Ireland's economy, through its advanced engineering and manufacturing capabilities. This groundbreaking project will involve significant investment which will not only support local employment, but also reinforce Northern Ireland's contribution to the security of our nation. Defence Minister Jeremy Quinn said, This is a great win for the Northern Ireland defence industry and will showcase some of the most pioneering engineering work currently being undertaken in the UK. He added, the £30 million project will accelerate the development of the UK's future air power by delivering cutting-edge uncrewed aircraft, maintaining our position as a world leader in emerging technologies. The Director of Future Combat Air at the MOD, Richard Burton, said, Project Mosquito is a vital element of our approach to future combat air, rapidly bringing to life design, build and test skills for next-generation combat air capabilities. Autonomous Loyal Wingman aircraft create the opportunity to expand, diversify and rapidly upgrade combat air forces in a cost-effective way, now and in the future.